Now, what will we do to... Ugh. Let's keep going. The quality on this is really, really good and detailed. Shut up, phone. Oof. I don't know. Spirals or... Springs. Springs, exactly. Greetings and salutations, my name is Oracult, and welcome to my sanctuary. To those of you new here, you're very, very welcome. I hope you like it here, stick around, subscribe to the channel, watch some other videos, and most importantly, like them. Just in general, and with the like button down below as well. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so, so much. I'm really happy to hit, hit over 800, so I'm super pleased about that. So, what we will be doing today is I thought, you know... What the hell? A lot of people do these. I'm gonna do one as well. I have been buying stuff occasionally from AliExpress, but you know, it's kind of, it's not that cheap with shipping these days, but it's cheap-ish and sometimes you get a bit of a mixed bag. So I thought I'd give it a go and do a video of that. So I have a couple of cool holes here. I don't have, I think, all the items because some of them I already started using, but I'll do just a random sort of bulk clothes, accessories and some very strange homewares. So we'll start with this dress that I am wearing. It is obviously, I think, some sort of a copy of too fast, but I think quite a few brands actually had this kind of pattern. Now, all of them come in different quality, and this one is, well, it's basically swimsuit material. If you like that sort of thing, go ahead, but if you don't like it, it's really way too hot in summer. I have used it a few times now, and I actually really like the way it looks, so I will do a try on a bit later on, so you can see the full length of it and everything. It is a bit strange to have like the inside of it as white, it looks weird, but in general, I mean, if you look at it from far away, it's okay. It's, it's not, you know, the most amazing quality ever, but for the price that it was, and I can't remember how much it was, but I'll link all the items down below, it's not too bad. Like, the overall effect of it, and I love the color, and I love the pattern, so, you know, I think it was worth it anyway. Also, I do have this pattern, I think, from Sourpuss. I missed out on the Too Fast, as I think somebody else mentioned, Kiri or someone um, I follow on Instagram as well, who has the most amazing dresses. I kind of missed out on that as well. I did get a swimsuit recently from Too Fast and a few other things, so that's a haul that will be coming up, so watch out for that one, but yeah. So that was this one. Then, to continue with the bad thing, I thought I would get something to wear in summer in terms of shoes and check these out. How freaking cute are these? They have little bats on them. And they're just little sort of, I don't know, what do you call them? They're not flip-flops or anything, they're just sandals or something. And yeah, I think it's probably a rip-off Demonia or something like that, but I think quite a few brands again, including Killstar, have come up with these little bats on shoes and everything, so yeah. And these are really comfy. Like, I've been walking them for a while. I think they're not for, you know, proper walking for ages, but I think they're they're not too bad. So these are really cute. I will have them in the try-on as well. Then I got to moth, sort of death moth, death skull, I don't know, kind of necklaces. And one of them is this one. And this one, I will link it down below the one I got. I highly recommend this. The quality on this is really good. It's heavy-ish, it's not like plastic, and the chain is actually proper sort of metal as well. It is pretty long, and the quality on this is really, really nice, and it's really detailed, so I quite like this. However, the second one, again, I think it's the exact same... Let me just compare them. Yes, the exact same charm, if you can see that, but it's sort of made in a slightly different way. And it looks good in principle, but this chain is like this plasticky, cheapish kind of material. So, I mean, it's still really cute, but it doesn't feel as heavy or good quality as the other one. It's still not a bad idea, but because it's so light, it just sits really weird. I will do a try on these as well and show you, but yeah, it's kind of like, this is a bit of a fail. 
Then I got this little bag here, because I thought it was really cute. And it has like a little zip there, and it opens almost like that. It has a pocket there. And it's, it's a fairly decent size. So what I got it for is like, pardon moi, gentlemen, but it's a sort of for period kind of stuff. If you want to keep it in your bag and it's easy to find and <clears throat> you don't have to go through pockets and then you have something nice to, you know, not take your whole bag if you're somewhere and you need to go, you know, with it. I don't know if I'm going to use it like that looking at it now. I think like I've had the little necklaces in it and stuff and it's actually pretty good for jewelry or I might get a few a few of these because it was pretty cheap but I think it's actually quite good like for various things it's quite nice to keep things organized in your bag if you put jewelry in it that doesn't get caught in anything and there's quite a few things you can use it for you can even use it as a wallet or something or a card holder I don't know I quite like this I might get another one there's different patterns as well so I'll link that down below as well and then I saw these shades and for some reason something possessed me I got four different colors of the same ones now can I recommend them no and I can tell you that right now by just the quality of it so see here this is meant to be purple by the way as well what it has it has these it has springs on the sides like that but this is like the flimsiest plastic you can possibly imagine it's obviously not any kind of UV ray protected or anything like that and I think this might get caught in hair like by the you know it's, it's an actual spring it's not even like put in there that well there's like a huge gap there so the whole thing is flimsy as hell it probably looks good in photo shoots and probably on camera but in general for other purposes I don't know let's try all of them so that was the purple one then we have a green one. And then there is a... I don't, frankly, the purple one and the black one don't even differ that much. The red one will obviously be very stand-out-y. But seriously, would you wear these? I don't know. I mean, I'm not convinced. And this is the black one. I mean, I like the shape of them and everything, and I like the idea of them. I think that was a bit of a miss. I'll link it down below if you see it. I don't know, maybe for, like, literally a costume. And I don't mean, you know, what we normally wear for Halloween, because that's not a costume. But, like, if you're wearing a costume, this is fine. Otherwise, don't bother. Then, to continue with the somewhat fails, I got this. What I thought was a sort of rug, like for, you know, under the door, something like that. Now, on the back, it's kind of like the material you would expect. Here, can you see that? It's squishy, kind of velvety. Now, why the hell would you use that? I thought it was like a rug material. And I don't know if this is good for the bath. Will it even dry? It feels like it, it probably won't dry. I don't know. And for some reason, something possessed me. And I thought they were so good and cheap. I got two of them. What the hell am I going to do with two of them? <sighs> I don't know. I'll keep you posted if they work or not. I, I don't know where I'll put them. Maybe try one by the door, one by the bath or whatever. I don't know. We'll see. But at least the pattern on that rug was what I expected it to be, and it's pretty, and you can see it properly. But, unfortunately, I thought I'd get this blanket here. So, I mean, it's not as good as what I expected it to be. It looks like a cheap copy of a cheap copy. And then when you turn it over, it came like this new, and it's already a bit, you know, used looking. And I washed it, didn't make much of a difference. Machine wash cold, do not bleach. 100% mm -hmm. polyester. I mean, it's still kind of cute. And it's small, but they have different sizes. But I thought I'd just try one. But I can't say I'm super impressed with it. I mean, I can't put my finger on it, but there's something very, very off here. I think. 
yeah, the pattern is a bit off or something. And it's a bit kind of blurry or you know how you buy t-shirts sometimes and they're poorly printed? Uh, sometimes they look cool and vintage like that, but this is just not... I don't think this is the case of where that happens, so no, no. Now there's a few more clothing items. For example, I'm kind of obsessed with like cover-ups and little boleros at the moment. So I got this one and it has cool moths and various insects. And it has this very, very, very long bow tie to tie it at the front. And the sleeves are kind of cool. They're kind of like puffy sleeves. And I again will show you this in the try on. It looks actually, it looks really good. I really like everything about it apart from one thing. And that one thing is that, of course, this is 100% polyester. It is so freaking warm and it is so hot at the moment. Maybe in the evenings when it's cooler. But the thing is, you buy a little bolero with short sleeves to wear in the summer and it's too warm. And then do you wear it later with the short sleeves? Not really. So it's kind of a bit useless. I mean, maybe for slightly cooler weather it will still do in the evenings, but that's about the only... There's a gigantic moth. <laughs> it's attracting moths in real life. <sighs> anyway, it looks good, okay? All of this stuff, you see it on people everywhere. It looks good up close. If you like things to look good up close, do not go to AliExpress, because chances are it won't. Now, this one, I blame Sanis for. Sanis, it's, it's, it's your, your fault, okay? Because you had this really cool dress on on Instagram that I really, really liked. And I got one. Yours was of something else, I can't remember now, but I thought I'd find something similar. So it's this pretty dress here, and it has like this sort of square kind of neckline and it has these puffy sleeves a really cool stretchy waist now in general again it looks nice it actually sits really really well on me amazingly enough the this is not off the shoulder it's still on the shoulders and it covers the bra straps that is an extra bonus now two things about it again it is very very freaking warm like it's meant to be a summer dress, but of course with this material, it's too thick and it's too synthetic. But okay, okay, it looks really nice though, so maybe you can still wear it in autumn or whatever, which is fine. But the other thing was, I thought it was a maxi dress. And it's not, not on me anyway. It's still okay, but I was kind of hoping it would be longer. I'll show you in the trial. But in general, at least the design and the fit of it is quite good, so I do kind of recommend it, I would say. And you know, I'm not a very tall person, but even on me, Killstar dresses, the skater ones, are a bit on the shorter side. And even this dress here, if I'm just sort of lounging around at home, fine, but if I go out, I want to be slightly more secure about what I'm wearing. So I thought I'd get shorts to wear under dresses, kind of like these, so, you know, at least you're somewhat covered up. Again, it's summer, it's a bit of a drag, but, you know, I intend to wear them in other seasons as well. So I got black ones, and they're like 90% nylon and 10% spandex. Really, really good. Really good. And I got, I think, two black ones. Ones are at home because I've actually worn them, and it was nice. And then I got one that's like a nude one, so it's not as apparent and these are also quite nice decent quality they're not like any kind of shapewear they're just so you know if your dress goes up you're not like just in your underwear so it's for that and now we have finally come to the try on part of the video <laughs>
And that was it. What did you think? Was it worth getting any of that stuff? I don't know. I mean, I'm still sort of unsure. I mean, it's pretty cheap. Some of it looks really nice. The quality, yeah, I guess you get what you pay for. But let me know down below in the comments if you've shopped there and what was the best and the crappiest things that you've got. Also, service announcement, we have a few metal cruises coming up. We're super excited about them because we went to one and unfortunately we didn't have a proper vlogging camera at the time and people have asked me and I'm very very sorry but we looked at the footage and it was crap because it was off a phone. But now, with this camera, we will, we will do a vlog of that. It's sensational. It's like five hours on the river and it's with at least five bands. They've announced three so far and a lot of it is death metal. So it's all super heavy stuff. Really, really cool. We're definitely going. And there's another one coming up, which is more of a power metal-y kind of band. It was one of the bands that was on my Metal Fest vlog called Epidemia. And they're also very, very good. But we're not sure. We're definitely going to the a really really metal one to this one we don't know but we might we might do both i don't know so yeah look out for that if you're hoping to get more vlogs because a lot of people really like that one so thank you again very very much for watching that and yeah let me know down below what you liked in this i hope you have a pleasant time of day wherever you are and greetings and salutations to you